hi everyone and welcome back to my channel it's Dani and today's video I'm going to show you how to knit this super beautiful and easy baby blanket this project is perfect if you are learning how to knit because it's very repetitive and it's very big so literally you are gonna be practicing a lot how to knit with this blanket and it's super super easy but before we get started make sure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't done that yet and stay tuned for next week tutorial because i'm going to show you how you can personalize this simple blanket so please make sure to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to hit that bell button so you are going to get the notifications every week when i upload a new video and yes if you want to learn how to knit this super easy peasy baby blanket keep watching the video so for this tutorial i'm going to be using one skin and a half of the lion brand thick and quick the bonus bundle so that means three of the regular skeins and this is a category six in here you can see the details and all the materials and the pattern it's going to be on my website i'm gonna link that down below and i'm going to be using my 10 millimeters circular needles but you don't need circular needles you can have the regular ones it's just i like and i'm so used to use the the circular ones but you don't need the circulars and i'm going to be using a scissors a tapestry needle and two stitch markers that's super important so to begin i'm going to leave at least four meters of yarn so we are going to have enough to cast on our stitches so this is how i start casting on my stitches And I will cast on 64 stitches and this is going to be for my baby blanket size the final measurements are going to be on my website so you can check that out and in here I have my 64 stitches and now we're gonna begin with row number one and in every single row we are gonna slip the first stitch to the right needle and we're gonna skip it don't do anything with it and now we are going to knit all the way along what are we gonna be doing just the simple garter stitch this is going to be the stitch that we're gonna use for the border or the edges of our blanket so just keep knitting all the way along until you finish your 64 stitches Now for row number two, again slip the first stitch to the right needle. This way we're gonna create a super nice and clean edge. So do that in every single row. And now we are going to keep knitting all the way along. And like I said, we are going to be knitting the garter stitch. And this is going to be for eight rows so do this for eight rows here i have my eight rows and this is how it should be looking now for the next row we are going to do exactly the same the garter stitch for the first five stitches so we are going to slip the first one into the right needle just like this and then knit four in total we have five stitches 
on the right needle just like this and now we're gonna place the stitch marker so now we are going to know which ones are the stitches for the border of our blanket and which ones are the ones for the body of our blanket so now we are going to start with the body of the blanket and we are going to purl all the way until we have the five stitches left which is going to be the other size the other part of the the blanket the other border so now purl all the way along and basically this blanket it's going to be the simple knit stitch which mean one row it's going to be all purl and one row it's going to be all knitted so keep doing this until we have just five stitches left In here I have just five stitches left, so now I'm gonna place my second stitch marker in here, so then I, I'm gonna know that this is my border. And for the border, again, garter stitch, just need those five stitches left. Now for the next row, we are going to do the same, slip the first stitch, garter stitch, the other four stitches. And now we are going to knit all the way along until we reach this second stitch marker and then we are going to do the border again so we are gonna repeat this for 80 rows we are not counting the first eight rows that we did for the border we are just gonna do 80 rows for the body of our blanket so keep doing these watch a movie, have a cup of coffee and make this your weekend project and just keep knitting and doing this for 80 rows. If you want to use a different size needle, different yarn, um, you can go ahead and use whatever materials you want you just need to follow the measurements make a little like gauge so you can see the size that you need and then you can go ahead and knit this blanket with the materials that you like you don't have to use exactly the same materials that I'm using um, but yes, like I said at the beginning of this video, I'm going to leave the pattern, the measurements and everything that you need to know on my website. You can visit. It's going to be in the first comment down below. So in here I have my 80 rows done, these 80 rows are for the body of my baby blanket and if we count the border it will be 88. So now we are going to do exactly the same that we did at the beginning of this video. We are going to do the other border like the top part and this is going to be exactly the same. We are going to do 8 rows of the garter stitch. So slip the first stitch and then garter stitch all the way along for eight rows. Now you can take your stitch market markers <laughs> because we don't need it anymore. And basically it's exactly the same. So eight rows just with the garter stitch. Thank you. 
And now to finish our blanket and to cast off these stitches, I'm going to be using a crochet hook just to help me because I think it's easier, but you don't have to if you don't have one or if you don't want it. And basically to cast off this blanket, we are just going to knit two stitches together and then we're going to bring this stitch back and then knit another two stitches together one and two and then we are going to bring that stitch back again and that simple it's how we are going to finish this blanket and cast off those stitches and this is why I like to use this crochet hook because I think it's easier and it helped me um, I don't know, I think it's just easier for me, but like I said, you don't have to use it if you don't have one or if you don't want it, you can just use the other <laughs> regular needle, it's totally fine. Once you're done as you can see in here it's perfect super pretty and super easy and now we're just gonna have to cut this little tail and we're gonna make a little knot in here just like this and now you just have to wave in that little tail and we're gonna do the same with the other tail that we have and in here I want to show you guys how do I join two strands of yarn when I'm uh, switching my, my skins. So basically what I do is just keep knitting. I don't make any knot or anything. I just grab the new yarn and keep knitting as usual and how I, I'm doing it. And now when I have these, just gonna pull a little bit this strand so it's nice and tight and we're gonna check in here that the stitch is not too tight and then I'm going to make two little knots not super tight because we don't want um, we don't want to notice that and basically the trick in here it's change your yarn when you are in here at the border because it's going to be way easier to hide and to wave those those ends and you basically are not even gonna notice that. And it's not the same if you are joining your yarn in the middle of the blanket. And now what I do is waving those ends, but following the same pattern, following the same, um, the same like way where I was knitting. I don't know if you can understand what I'm saying. But yes, I'm basically just following the stitches And just like that, it's how I join two strands of yarn. And that's the trick, guys. Try to do it at the border. It doesn't matter if you have like enough yarn to make half of a row. No, just try to do it at the border because then it's going to be way easier to wave in those ends. And as you can see right now, you can barely see where is it. Like it's so perfect and if you turn your work in the other side of the blanket, you are not gonna notice anything. So that's the trick. <laughs> And 
and that's all for today's tutorial and as you can see in here in this beautiful picture of my knees I'm going to show you next week how you can personalize your blanket so you can put the baby's name, you can put an initial, maybe a date, or if you want, you can make a heart, I don't know. The possibilities are endless and it's going to be super easy for you to do it and it's such a beautiful project, super easy and I'm going to give you next week all the tools that you need to write the baby's name and to be able to place it on your blanket so I really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you liked it please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to this channel and please follow me on social media I have Facebook and I have Instagram and I'm always sharing pictures with you guys there and yes if you have any questions or any suggestions for next tutorials please leave it down below and don't forget to visit my website you can find everything that you need to know right there and i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you in the next video bye